Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Islanders. And uh, it looks like we finished off this island, so let's jump into the next one. There we go. Maybe this will be a snowy one? Kind of getting that feel from the sound effects. I could be wrong. Ooh, yes. Predicted. So, right, uh, let's get started. We will click here. A lumber yard or a brick yard? Uh, we don't really have the stuff for a brickyard. Yeah, let's get rid of a lumber. Let's get ready for a lumber pack. So, there's quite a few good spots for lumber mills. And stuff like that. So we want to get the most efficient one that we can to start with. And here's a plus 14. All right. Now we could place a plus 8, right? But what we could also do is we could slap down this. Wait, how much do you get from sawmills? It's actually more efficient to place the sawmill last. <clears throat> so you can get essentially the same benefit, right? Plus 8 is pretty good. Or we could send you over here and get like plus 16. Right there. And for the sake of it, we'll put the sawmill somewhere central, like there. Let's grab the brickyard, because that'll, yeah, yeah, that'll get me a few more of these uh, lumberjacks. Now, the brickyard isn't super useful, but... We should be able to, if we strategically place these guys. Get good value. Like, for example, over here, I can get a plus 10, 11, 13, right there. Plus seven. Sure, we'll do that. And then we will move on to the next one. <clears throat> we could get our city started. I like that idea. I don't really have a good spot for a city, though. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Can I build out on the ice sheet? No. So I think I want to build my like high-end homes like over here-ish. And then I want to build my low-end homes like over here-ish. Not a whole lot of room to do that. So maybe we'll do it here instead. Like there. You want your high-end homes near the uh, near the gold mine, like that and that. Then we'll put our normal homes over here, like that and that. And we'll get a new one. I'll grab a fisher, sure. This will give me access to another sawmill. I think there's a really good sawmill over here, although it does kind of sit in a kind of poor place. I put it right there. This island might be hard to win. Now, there is a fissure, I believe, that hits both of these. There we go. That's kind of what I was hoping for, a fissure that would hit both. A few extra points. We have some mansions. Let's slip them in. Like so. Grab the fountain. <clears throat> There's a 22 over here versus a 11. So I think the 22 uh, is a little bit better. I want to make sure I capture as many of these as I can. Fit them in nice and tight. Probably should have placed more of them first. But it's fine. Six. 
another fountain. Ideally, I want to avoid overlap. Plus 25 right there, and then I'll put a fountain over here somewhere. Um, about right there. Get a few of these huts, a little bit of housing. A regular house. Where do you fit? Uh, theory. want to say we're running out of room over here. Still got a little bit of room. These huts now. These huts are would be good in between. Now where do I want to build another settlement? An okay settlement in there. There's a bit of room here for one. I think we're going to go over here for this next settlement. I want to get it as close as possible without overlapping, and then there. And that's so we can use the uh, the hermit overlap principle sort of idea. There's a plus 15 hermit house right there. Ideally, there should be another one right there, and then maybe right here we can get a, a plus 10. We rotate our way into a better one. All right, what about over here? There's a couple tw plus twelves on the fringe. All right, now we gotta place these masons. So I'm thinking of maybe having an industrial zone somewhere. This is a very hard map to beat. I gotta admit, right? This uh. A lot going on here. Put one over here at the edge. If I can get it to go. Alright. Let's grab the shaman and the plateau. We definitely need more room. All right, what do we put over here? I'm thinking another m mansion area would be good. We have the potential for another really nice one of these fisher areas. I want to move them out a little bit, like right there is good to me. So there's a plus 11 one here. Tuck it right in against the wall. Shaman likes to be away from things. Not really very good spots for Shaman. So it might be good to just slap it down somewhere. Where mansions, because I think these guys get good value from the Shaman. Like I could just put it inside the city. Um, and I'll get benefits. Like, right. I wish I had, like, a, a slot I could slip it into that wasn't, like, in an awkward spot. I think I'm just going to slap it in there. And then hope that the extra value I get from building houses near it. Because it has about the same amount of value as the, um, town hall building does it itself. Right? So it feels like we get good value from that. Let's get the tower. So towers, not so good yet. We could place this somewhere near. They're mostly good near residential zones. I think I'm going to hold on to it for now. I want to avoid overlap, like right there. I 
Gonna place the shaman. Uh, it's probably better I just use them as like residential things. Just get the extra points that I can out of it. All right. Ah, uh, warehouse. Now this is something that might be difficult to find something really, really good. Now these uh, mill things are quite good. There's a 24 one over here. So I'd say that's a probably a reasonable level that we'll be able to get there. There's a 24. We've got a few of these huts. I like the idea of slipping them in here. A few extra points, you know what I mean? Uh, circus. Sure. I'm going to have a, maybe a hard time placing the circus. I mean, there is a plus 20 right here. So is it worth it to place the circus second or place the houses first? It's worth it to place the houses first. Let's try and place some stuff nearby. So that the circus might take advantage of it. Yeah, there's a plus 28 circus now, which is a little bit better. We're building up the power level of this pylon thing. There's plus 14 one over here. I'd like to get that up to like a plus 20 if I could. I slide you in there. Very nice. Slip you in there. Now, another fisherman thing. Right. I'd like to make sure that I'm getting as much, like, value as I can. I want to make sure these guys are relatively close, but not, like, overlapping. Ooh, a gold mine, finally. Excellent. So let's have a look at where we could place this. Plus 35, plus 10. I definitely want to be in range of the gold mine if I can be. There's a plus 40 there. You find a few places to sneak in a few of these little hermit homes. It looks like over here is a pretty good spot. There we go. Two fifteens, baby. Uh, get another house over here. Oh, that would actually fit nicely. Got another sawmill. We'll worry about that once we get our next uh, thing. Uh, market. That's going to be a tough one to place. Um... It's always a struggle to get the market into a spot that actually like means anything like like this is just plus five whereas if i were to put it over here you know the market's kind of a hard one to place i probably won't be able to place it until i get cliff plateau stuff now that i think about it oh i definitely should have placed the shaman first damn i was hoping to be able to place that we can always set up a little micro housing area up here might be best to do that like there that's not a bad little combo as far as I'm concerned so getting more houses in here is gonna be tough 24 right there 7 Nine is okay. We have another circus, but there's a plus 20. And, oh, the resort oasis. We don't really have anywhere for that. Like Room-wise, we're just strapped. 
There just isn't really many places for the resort. We have another one of these bank things we haven't placed yet. I think we're just going to take the plus 40. Plus 16. We have unlocked the next island, so we can stop whenever we feel like it. But uh, I like to play it through until, like, I quote-unquote get defeated, I guess. Um, let's see if we can't get a good overlap here. Maybe there's a better lumber mill over here. Plus two really isn't good enough. Plus 16, however, that's pretty good. Even if it does overlap, like, it's fine. We do have plateaus. Which, in theory, could provide room for a market. Is that a good market, even? Not really. Like... Like so. Where do I want to set up more houses is the question. City Center Shaman, Statue Plateau. Well... We could set up a little housing area on a plateau, I guess. Uh, maybe... Like, right... Uh, that area is already, like, available, so maybe we'll set it up. Although, we do want things to overlap, and this gives me, like, a nice chunk of smooth ground nearby. So maybe we'll do it, like, right here. Get it nice and close, pull it back a little bit. Tuck you into the corner. Like so. Temple. Temple's gonna be a hard one to place. We might skip it for now. Like, a 28 isn't bad. Got more of these nice houses. Can I fit them up here? No, just about not. Throw in a few more houses. Like that. We fit a little hermit in here? No, it doesn't look like it. There's a plus 15 right there. Should be another plus 15 around right there. And, alright. Uh, hey, how do we feel about the needle? There's a 16 over here. Versus a 17 right there. Not the best needle I've ever done, but... One that I can respect. Now let's grab some walls. We can put walls on the outskirts of some of these townships. Like so. Fishermen, fishermen, fishermen. And all of their friends. Okay, can I get overlap without hitting that other fishing village? I cannot. So the best I can do is probably 15-ish with this. Yeah, 15 is a pretty good... It's a pretty good number. Oh, I'll tuck you in there, yes. Really need to set up another one of these... Thingadoodles. Right. House. Put that there. Now market-wise... 
There is a 30-ish market in right here. It's going to help. And then a 22 supply thing, if I can find a good spot for this. Ideally, it wouldn't be right here, but this is where it's got to go. I'm not so sure about the whole brewery thing. Uh, I don't even know if we have the room for this. We'll go for some parks. The nice thing about parks is they can fit in some pretty weird places. For the sake of space efficiency, I'm going to tuck that in. Plus 20 right there. And we can slip you... Where can I put you? Maybe in here? It's a plus 5, it's not very good. Get any more of these houses in? Pretty constricted in terms of space right now. It's a constant battle. It's a constant battle. I kind of want to build a temple and just like call this level a done, a done deal. If I get this to just barely overlap, there's a plus five temple, right? And that's where I want to place it, but I'm not ready to place it there because. It's got issues. Oh, there's a 51. Now that's good value. There's a 14. Very nice. Oh, I caramba, dude. Making my life hard. Gotta find room for these walls, man. I for sure thought you would fit in here. Fourteen right there. Nice. I've got another needle. A spike. Slap it down right there. Now, the mill uh, is something that does well when it's adjacent to certain things. So, typically, it's uh, these, like, supply buildings. So there's a plus 18 mill right here. And what I want to do is I'm going to make sure I tuck it as close to the edge as possible to leave as much room as possible for any farms that come. Uh, right. So plus 10. There's a plus 4. Nestle you in there. Nestle you in there. Pretty crazy shit, dude. Uh, okay. What do we do? Pretty crazy. There's a plus one in there. It doesn't feel really that good. Guess I could slap a mason down somewhere. I guess I should have finished that sentence. I guess I could just slap a mason. Calm down, potato. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Right. <clears throat> Ooh, water plateau. That excites me. I like that idea. All right. It is the weak sauce version of the water plateau. But I guess I couldn't. Theory implemented over here. 
put a house right there. Can't probably put a park there. Um. Couple of those guys down. Give me the plus seven right there. Nice. The resort oasis is just not going to happen, my guys. There just is no place for it, uh, unfortunately. Well, we can put down more walls. And I think that's it. I don't really have um, any room for anything else. Like, I guess I could try to slap down these last few things just for the sake of having them placed. Just kind of like wiggle back and forth, looking for spots where they might fit. Yeah, I think that's this island done. I mean, not as extravagant or as like as detailed as the other island, but we still beat the island, right? And we we made what looks like a pretty cool and organic sort of thing. There's like a, I, I love how, at least the way that I'm playing, that there's kind of like things kind of have this very organic feel to them. And, and I don't know maybe maybe certainly some areas could be improved, but um, there's sort of the sense of you know a wall here is a little bit silly and stuff like that, but. Generally speaking, you know, this this looks like a believable little settlement. You know what I mean? From certain angles, it, it looks looks good. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.